So lots of discussions on whether or not uh, you should do the DEF uh, AEM up, um, recall on the Mercedes Sprinter. Uh, over the last 140,000 miles, we've actually had a lot of issues with our DEF system. And uh, so I opted to go ahead and do it. Um, getting And we just got it back from Mercedes just a little while ago. Um, took them two days to, to do all the upgrades and it looked like they did like catalytic converter. They did the exhaust pipe from the catalytic converter to the engine, uh, NO, or NOx um, sensors, and a couple other things. I will put a full list down in the description. Uh, of course, it didn't cost anything because it was part of the, the overall uh, recall. So we're getting ready to take a trip down to Fayetteville, North Carolina, then up to Huntington, West Virginia, and then back over to uh, Washington, DC. I normally drive about 63 to 65 miles an hour, and I normally try to keep it on cruise control. Uh, that means the, the engine typically RPM is somewhere between 2350, 2400. Uh, I've got 140,000 miles of, uh, of logging. Uh, I can tell you exactly the number of gallons I put in this thing. So my, my overall average mileage is, uh, has been, I think, um, you know, 14.9 miles to the gallon. That includes trips up into the Rockies, that includes trips in Florida, uh, across the country several times and back. So varying terrain and that type of thing. So this is a trip I normally do, uh, Fayetteville, West Virginia, and let's let's take a look. Let's see whether or not I feel that we've actually had a decrease in power, which is some complaints, uh, and I'll be able to tell whether or not we've actually had any type of decrease in uh, fuel efficiency. So we'll take it from here and uh, roll out. Uh, so for my first trip uh, from Northern Virginia down to Fayetteville, uh, I am right at about 15.1 miles to the gallon. So we'll see what our next uh, fuel states. So this is our second tank of gas and uh, we went about 300 miles. And I, uh, I think that the, the fuel mileage may have dropped a little bit on this one. We'll, uh, we'll type it in and see what our fuel mileage was. We ended up going with uh, 20 gallons of gas. I normally, when I hit about 250 miles on a tank, I, I normally start looking for a new place to, to pull over and uh, yeah, you know, see what we've done. Yeah, I mean, that was a significant drop. So our second uh, tank of fuel, uh, we actually dropped down to 12.7 miles to the gallon. So I don't know if it's the computer trying to refigure, you know, because they did they did reset the computer uh, several times. So um, we will see what the uh, third uh, tank of gas uh, mileage gives us. All right, so we're in West Virginia. Uh, this is our third tank of gas, just filled up. Uh, took about 18.302 gallons and uh, based on 262 miles that means that we hit about 16.1 um, miles a gallon. No issues coming up the mountains with uh, power. Uh, everything seemed to, to be what it normally is. So based on about 140,000 miles I don't know whether or not the computer has adjusted a little bit and now we're getting better at fuel efficiency. But you know, the first one we got 15.1, second one I think 12.7, this one 16.1. So we've got uh, another, oh, two more stops uh, for fuel uh, to get back home. So we'll uh, fill up two more times and we'll see whether or not uh, the mileage stays about where it's at. So this leg of the trip, we decided to take a little different route and uh, check the torque. Uh, one of the things I've seen a lot of people talking about is that their vehicle lost torque, uh, lost power. So uh, we got off of 64 and uh, spent about 80 miles inside of the interior of West Virginia, uh, going up to the New River Gorge, the Gully, uh, going over towards Cass. Uh, so up and down, pretty serious grade, 8%, um, couple areas, normally 5-6%. Uh, so I saw no difference in my normal power torque of the vehicle. So I have not seen anything that degraded that way. Um, so we just stopped and got our fifth uh, tank of gas. I would expect this tank to be significantly less uh, miles per gallon compared to the others, uh, just because of uh, the, the climbs. Um, so just filled up and uh, put in uh, 15 gallons. Uh, I was only, it was only like 210 miles 
we're getting ready to go through West Virginia even further. I just want to make sure we had a full tank of gas. So that works out to about 13.6 miles to the gallon. So uh, we will see. Uh, what I'm going to do at the end of this is I'm going to total all the mileage and gallons we use and see how close we are to our normal 14.7 to 15 miles to the gallon. Well, we're back at the Shell station that we started at. Uh, just did our final fill up. You know, 19.3 gallons, 300 miles. So I uh, ended up being about 14.7 miles to the gallon. So let's, uh, we will tally up all the gas we've put or the diesel we've put in, see what our, our miles per gallon were. Let's see whether or not we actually had any type of uh, degradation. And the crazy thing, the last leg of it, we went up and over the Shenandoah Mountain. So big, big, big climbs. Um, no power loss. So so I can easily say right now that it, the whole idea that this is, uh, we de decrease the torque, at losing power, uh, our AEM modifications did not. So let's uh, see what the overall mileage goes. So I've taken the time and tallied up the numbers and uh, you know take a look at it. And so as you can see, uh, we went about 1,238 miles. We used 86.833 gallons of diesel. And that works out to about 14.26 miles to the gallon. So that's really not much of a change, uh, especially given how much we went up and down in West Virginia and, and over the uh, Shenandoah Mountains in Virginia. So from the best we can tell, it has not decreased our fuel efficiency and it has done nothing to the torque. Well, like I said, we up and down, no issues there. I'll keep track and if for some reason I change my mind on this, uh, I'll let you know. But for us, doing the uh, a the AEM modification is worth our time and money.